Alligators are reptiles. Alligators have been living on Earth for millions of years and are sometimes described as living fossils. There are two different species of alligator, the American alligator and the Chinese alligator. Right now, you are looking at the American alligator. American alligators live in the southeastern areas of the United States, such as Florida and Louisiana. Chinese alligators are found in the Yangtze River, but they are critically endangered and only a few remain in the wild. Like other reptiles, alligators are cold-blooded. Alligators can weigh over 1,000 pounds. Alligators have a powerful bite, but the muscles that open the jaw are relatively weak. An adult human could hold the jaws of an alligator shut with their bare hands. Alligators eat a range of different animals, such as fish, birds, turtles, and even deer. Hi friends! So as you know, we've been watching some videos of alligators and learning different things about them. 
I thought it would be a great idea to learn more facts about them. So I went on to epic.com and found a book to read about alligators and it's called North American Animals, American Alligators. And I picked American Alligators because the alligators we've been seeing are in a city in north of Florida, which is called St. Augustine. So I thought it'd be really cool to learn new information about them. So let's get started. What are American alligators? American alligators are the largest reptiles in North America. They are found in the southeastern United States. They live in rivers, swamps, lakes, and marshes. So if you look, there's a map right here and it says in the wild and you can see this is the southeastern part of the United States and right here is where Florida is. And so this map actually is telling us about whether or not alligators are safe or if they're going extinct. And it says right here, American alligator range equals green. And that means the conservation status is least concerned because that's what green is right here. So that's awesome. They're not going extinct and there's no worry about it right now. Identify an American alligator. American alligators are strong swimmers. Their long tails and webbed feet push them through the water. On land, they crawl and walk. They can also run short distances. So if you see here, it shows some adaptations that they have. So they have long tail, like it said, that they use to help them swim. And then they have these scutes on their back. And then they have webbed feet, which also help push them through the water. Males usually measure 13 to 15 feet long. They can weigh 1,000 pounds. Females are slightly smaller. That still seems pretty big to me though. These reptiles have few predators when they are fully grown. The scutes on their backs protect them from attacks. You see right here, it compares the size of an alligator to the average human. So the average human is between five feet and six feet tall. But you can tell, even if the human was to lie down, they'd be so much smaller than the alligator. And then right here, look at how big this alligator is. Ooh, scary. Hungry hunters. American alligators are carnivores. They eat fish, turtles, and snakes. They also catch birds and small mammals. And if you see, it says on the menu. So these are some of the foods they eat or other animals they eat. The Florida softshell turtles, cottonmouth snakes, snowy egrets, catfish, horseshoe crabs, and white-tailed deer. The alligators hunt mainly at night. They stay underwater as they watch for prey. Their eyes and nostrils stick out of the water. They grab their meal with powerful jaws and sharp teeth. Most prey is swallowed whole. So I think I found another adaptation here. Can any of you guys think about it? What might be the adaptation that this alligator has? I'm thinking it's the powerful jaws and sharp teeth so that way it can eat its prey whole. Sometimes the alligators hunt larger mammals. They wait for these animals to stop by the water to drink. Then they attack. They pull their meal into the water. So you can see this looks like it might be a raccoon that they ate. I'm not sure what this one is here, but looks like a big animal that they were able to catch. Nests, eggs, and hatching, hatchlings. In spring, a female builds a nest out of plants, sticks, and mud. She lays her eggs in the nest. Then she covers the eggs with plants to keep them warm. After about two months, the babies make noise inside of the eggs. Mom digs the eggs out of the nest. It is time for them to hatch. Baby facts. Name for the babies are hatchlings. 
the number of eggs laid is 35 to 50 eggs. Time spent inside the eggs can be 65 days long. And time spent with mom, about one to two years. So that means once they're two years old, they usually leave their mom. The hatchlings are six to eight inches or 15 to 20 centimeters long. Their small size makes them easy prey for birds, raccoons, and other predators. Mom protects her babies while they are young. She even carries them in her mouth. So look at how tiny and cute this alligator is. And look at inside mama's mouth to stay protected. That was the end. All right, let's keep watching some more animals. Come on, let's go. Alligator eggs become male or female depending on the temperature. Male in warmer temperatures and female in cooler temperatures. Like crocodiles, alligators are a part of the order Crocodilia. Alligators can leap really high. Using their tails, alligators can leap up to five feet out of the water to grab their prey perched in trees with low branches. That's quite impressive and terrifying. Alligators are cannibals. Yep, alligators eat each other. Young alligators are at risk of being consumed by their bigger counterparts. About six to seven percent of the total juvenile population of American alligators in one area of Florida reached their end by cannibalism. Ouch.
friends today we're gonna be drawing a crocodile. A realistic one! Yeah! Yeah! Alright, checkers, you got your marker. Yeah! yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're excited. <laughs> we hope you guys are excited too. Maybe not as much, but still excited. <laughs> You have something to draw with and some paper in front of you. We're going to use a Sharpie. You don't have to. You can use a pencil if you want to. If we're going too fast, what can they do? Pause the video. Yes, you guys can always pause the video. We are going to be drawing this realistic, so it's going to be a little more challenging. And if you're looking for an easier lesson that's also a crocodile, we'll leave a link below in this description. It's a lot easier. Yeah. Yeah, we did it. We, we made it out of shapes. We did it with Austin. Yeah. Why are you laughing? Nothing. <laughs> you ready to start? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. All right, dude, we're going to start with our paper. Horizontal. Yes, or landscape. Yes, okay. <laughs> we're going to start with this head. It's going to be down here in the bottom left corner, and not all the way in the corner, but right about here. We're going to start with his eye, and we're just going to draw a football shape. Scary eye. Good. Job. Okay, now we're gonna do his eyebrow that's over the top. Good. Now we're gonna draw his other eyebrow that's on the other side of his head so we can draw a 3D. Nice. Now we're gonna draw his nose that comes out. And we're gonna draw one little bump for his nostril. <laughs> and then it's going to curl back around like this. And we're going to go, we're going to keep going all the way under his face and then curl up. Sorry, you're hanging on to your paper. <laughs> Good. Okay, now let's come back up here and let's put another bump right here for his nostril. Nice. Then we can put, let's curl it back around and actually put it in his nostril. Okay, now let's draw his mouth, and his mouth is super awesome because you can see his teeth sticking out. So we're going to just draw a little line for the start of his mouth. <laughs> it's going to be bigger, just your way. Okay. <laughs> then we're going to draw uh, an M, that. Good. And then we're going to curl around and connect the bottom. So that's, that's his teeth. Then we're going to draw another little line that comes out further. Then we're going to draw a D. This is the tooth pointing down. And they kind of alternate so we can curl it at the top. Draw another line, a short one. And we're going to draw an upside down D for another tooth from the other direction. Then you connect it at the bottom. That looking awesome. Okay. Then I'm going to just keep going and we're going to do that same pattern. We can just make it random all the way back until we get a little further closer to his eye. Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna curl up and then back down to finish his mouth. Sweet. Good job, man. That looks awesome, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks pretty scary. <laughs> Alright, okay, now let's draw his body. So we're gonna first draw, we're gonna draw a circle that comes around and connects. So we're gonna draw some contour lines to make his body look creepy. And this is gonna be the first one. So we're gonna come around. Roll around like this and then back into his head. So that's going to be his neck. <laughs> oh, good. Alright, now let's put a couple um, upside down V's. And this is going to be for the texture because they have these like bumps through their whole body. I'm going to do four little bumps. Oh, it spikes on them? 
Oh yeah, a triceratops. Yeah. That has the yeah, whatever that's called. <laughs> okay, now let's put some more texture in there. We're gonna put another contour line right here. Another wrinkle, this lizard skin, and then some other spikes. Okay, now let's put one uh, like a hook shape, or another wrinkle right here. This is going to be the start of his arm, his front leg. Okay, now let's draw a first part of his legs, his front legs. So we're going to do a little S line that goes up. We're going to draw another line that comes down towards his front, his forearm. Then we're going to come back up here. We're going to draw the rest of this arm. Sweet. Okay, now let's draw his thumb. We're gonna draw his thumb with a sharp claw. There we go. And we're gonna draw his first finger. Good. Now let's draw three more of those claws. So one, two, and the third one is gonna connect into his arm. That's a pretty big hand. <laughs> if I were to draw it again, it might be a little small. I'm falling basketball with that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay, now let's come over here. Let's draw this other front, this other front leg. So we're going to draw the line from the top. Back down. The same thing over here. This line is going to do his elbow. Cool. Okay, we're gonna do the same steps, but over here and flip. So there's his thumb. Draw his first finger. And three more, three more plots. One, two, three. Back to ten. <laughs> Good job, dude. <laughs> yeah, mine look like big, huge, massive claws, and yours kind of look like human hands. <laughs> it's okay. You, you can make those little, the little ends sharper if you want. But let's keep going. All right, so we're going to do another wrinkle that's going to go more versus skin, bumpy, it's going to go like this. And then we're going to connect it, draw another line, a little gap, and it's fine. So we drew a big kind of rainbow line that goes over his body, and I left a gap. Uh, okay, now we're gonna go all the we're gonna draw the rest of his body and this is gonna turn into his hip. So we're gonna draw a big right, out like this. And we're gonna stop right here. Good job. Then we're gonna draw his belly line that's so over here on the side. It's gonna make it look kind of big. Hey, now let's draw his foot. So we're gonna draw his first, his first toe. So it's gonna come out. Use that claw. We're gonna draw a few more claws. And let's see his other his fifth finger. One more. <laughs> You're doing good. Keep going, man. It's a big foot. <laughs> I like it. It's a big foot. Mine's pretty big too. So we're gonna now we're gonna take this from his toe and then curl around and into his knee. Good. And then we're gonna come back over here, curl around to the back of his leg. Awesome. Good job, dude. Okay, now we need to do it. Let's work on his tail some more. So I'm gonna make a zigzag line from here, and we're gonna curl up like this, and stop right there. What are you laughing at? Laughing. His foot? <laughs> yes, it's right there. 
Okay, so I just started doing a zigzag that curled up. Good. Right there. Start curling up. Stop. Good job. That looks awesome. Okay, now we're going to do... No, it's good. Okay, now we're going to start right here. We're going to do another uh, zigzag line. Just like this. And we're going to come around and then connect it into that one. Curls around. Good. Okay, now we're going to keep that zigzag line going back this way. Good. Now we're going to draw the bottom of his tail. So he's going to come down like this. Roll. Nice. That looks really good. Now we're going to draw the back, the bottom of this part of his tail. So we're going to come out over here. So his belly comes through his leg, and it's going to come out like this, and then curl up to the tail. Start down here, yeah, start down where his leg is, and come Oh, that's a nice thick tail, I like it. Oh, it's awesome, it's really cool. Yours looks awesome, I wish my tail was that thick. Okay. No, I really do. Okay, so now we're gonna do, let's draw one more line. So we're gonna do some more details on this tab. So we're gonna draw another line that curls around. Next to the zigzag, good. Now let's put some texture on this tab. So I'm gonna do it with an S line. Do a bunch of these. Down this tail. Job. Now I'm going to do a couple on this side too, so I'm going to go on the other way. Good. Okay, now let's draw some more texture that's going across this body. So we're going to draw these contour lines around like this, that. And then let's draw a couple of others that don't completely connect. Okay. And then I'm going to come back here and imagine those same lines coming through over to this side. This one, I'm going to draw another one across. Have a lot of your skin looks really nice. Do a couple more, and then do a couple that go down his tail like that. Good. Nice job. Okay, now we're going to take these spikes that are coming down the tail. We're going to make uh, more spikes that come across this body. Like this, we can just draw the individual spikes and come around and they're going to curve into this neck. Now we're gonna draw some more spikes. We're gonna start up here on this tail. Draw, it's gonna do a little triangle shape. So we're gonna go across his back to to his back. And then I'm gonna do another one right next to that one. Okay, now let's come back in. Let's add the details on his toes. So add a little pause. Just gonna draw some curved lines. Pause that coming out of his fingers. Okay, let's add some more texture. I'm gonna add some cross lines that go across his belly here. 
and I'm gonna just connect. It's almost like you're making a spider web. Going across, more texture, and then I'm gonna do um, some down his tail also. Let's add some more texture on his legs. So I'm going to add some more wrinkles going down his arms like this. And even down his forearms. Draw some more lines this way. And then draw the cross lines. So let's do this by the way. That, that would be awesome. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, I haven't done it yet. <laughs> And then, um, so yeah, there we go. And then we're adding all the texture. We can do the same thing on this leg. So I'm going to add some more lines and cross. This whole leg and then back it up. Yeah. Oh, it looks like an alligator, huh? Add some more bumps in here on the ears, nose, texture. Now it's really starting to look like an alligator. Oh. Good job, checkers. Did you have fun? Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna, he's going to look even more realistic after the color. So let's pick out our colors. And we're going to use colored pencils. We'll come right back. Okay. And we're going to do a. All right, friends, so I don't have any colored pencils, but I'm gonna challenge you to grab your colored pencils or markers or crayons or whatever you have to color and color your alligator and then show me and the other teachers what your crocodile or alligator, I should say, ended up like. Can't wait to see it. Hope you had fun. Let's go watch some more alligators. Alligators rarely attack humans. Unlike their much more aggressive cousin, the crocodile, alligators don't usually prey on humans. They prefer small targets like fish or birds. Alligators help plant seeds. How, you may ask? Well, it turns out that alligators will eat fruit, seeds and all. Then, once they pass it, the seeds are sown into new spots, fertilized and all. Who knew? Did you know alligators can reach speeds up to 35 miles per hour on land? But they will tire very quickly and have a natural fear of humans. It is unlikely that you will ever have trouble with an alligator on land if you keep a good distance from them and do not provoke them. In the water though, they can swim up to 20 miles per hour and will not tire quickly.
Give or take, the American alligator will live about 50 years in the wild, assuming they aren't eaten as a baby. In captivity though, they can live even longer, up to 85 years old. 